Uh, I'd like to go now to Mr. Rick Drennan. And Rick, not to the uh, not to the PCs this time, please. Are there any more empty tables out there? Uh, first of all, I'd like to commend the uh, Brampton Focus for the uh, format tonight. I think it's working well. Instead of uh, so one person answering the question from the party, it keeps uh, people from jumping all over each other, which we saw in the uh, debates last night. Uh, anyway. What I'd like to talk about is that Canada for years has relied on natural resources. If it was running along the ground, we'd kill it, or uh, if it was in the ground, we'd drill for it. Um, the oil patch, especially the oil sands, is an environmental disaster and a black eye for Canada around the world. Yet natural resources help drive our economy, and uh, basically our economy is based on that. How does your party square economic growth with good stewardship of the land? And I'll ask the uh, Green Party this one. Thank you for the question. It's a great one. And first, we must, must be quite clear in our understanding that uh, while the economy and the environment are intrinsically linked, one doesn't have to come at the expense of the other. So the question is, how do we do that? And the answer is quite simple. We invest in lucrative, clean, green industries and technology. We don't have to destroy our habitat for financial gain. The Green Party plan will grow the economy by taking aggressive action to confront the climate crisis. This is something that's urgent. It's not a left-wing issue. It's not a right-wing issue. This is a human issue, and this has effect outside of Canada as well, and it's vital that we do something about it, and the Green Party will. We have a deadline for a new environmental treaty this December, and we'll act fast to reduce greenhouse gases. We'll invest in municipalities such as Brampton, We'll reduce waste by improving energy productivity and jumping onto the clean energy revolution. And we'll be incentivizing these green initiatives. So if you ask, how are businesses going to get on board this? Well, there's going to be money involved, so they'll be interested in getting on board this. Because as we've seen in the last several years, people don't want to do anything unless there's some sort of financial gain. So part of Part of our plan is to reduce carbon emissions and get us out of this recession. It's been shown that cap and trade is open to fraud, so that doesn't work too well. But we've seen that in BC, the carbon tax does work. All right, thank you. 